Hey everyone, it's Sarah and Ben and we just want to let you know our baby boy Josiah is finally here. Yay. <laughs> so in this video, of course, what we want to do is we want to share his birth story with you all and talk to you about how this little man entered into the world. So here we go. So good morning. Today is the day when we are going to meet our son and I'm so excited. So just to bring you guys up to speed. What's happened is that at our latest ultrasound, our baby is still breech, so we definitely have to do a C-section. I'm 40 weeks and one day today. So we're doing that and um, you know, I'm nervous, but I'm also excited because this is like the first really major surgery I've ever had other than my wisdom teeth. But um, right now it's 5.15. We have to be there at six o'clock. Procedure starts at eight. So I'm glad we're, you know, getting this done over with early. It's just crazy because we are having a baby and I know for sure we're having a baby today. So that's what's really weird about this because a lot, you don't a lot of times have that privilege of knowing. So um, we're doing that. It's crazy because I have not slept at all. Like I got up at 11 um, last night and I haven't went back to bed. I think it's a combination of insomnia and nerves and just the anticipation of everything. But um, we'll see how it goes and see how it flows and can't wait to meet our boy. Okay, so we are finally here in the hospital and I'm in my beautiful gown and it's so awesome. <laughs> and we have our mask on and it's about 6.20 and we're just waiting on um, the nurses to come in and start doing my pre-op stuff. Get my IV and ask me a bunch of questions and things like that. So um, yeah, we're just waiting now. Again, I'm a little bit nervous still, but doing a little bit better. And um, is Zach's really excited. Are, Are you excited? excited? Yeah, we're super excited. <laughs> Whisper. <Big pop. laughs> But yeah, so um, I'll just keep you up to date about what's going on and what they do. Also, I forgot to mention that this morning I had to shower with a special um, antiseptic. I had to do that Sunday, Monday, and then Tuesday morning, which is today. So that's to help prevent, you know, chances of infection and decrease the bacteria. Okay, so I just want to give you guys an update. Um, a lot of things have transpired. So I've got my IV. Um, I have fluids running. They're actually running um, lactated ringers. And um, I have my pre-op antibiotic. Uh, also, I have my nice little um, socks on and my little SCDs help prevent blood clots. And anesthesia has talked to me about everything because I'm getting a spinal with this and the doctors came in. And they have me hooked up to the monitor and you can see his heart rate, it's about 144. So I'm just waiting to go back, I'm excited. Um, the CRNA came in and talked to me and she is just like amazing and awesome and made me feel a lot better. So um, I'm just waiting, so we'll see. So I'm taken back to the OR to have the procedure. And what we do first is we do the spinal anesthesia and then they laid me back and started the procedure. And the procedure was really fast. I think it only lasted like 30 to 45 minutes, my husband said. Now my husband couldn't be there during the C-section itself because um, he had to stay with our son and this whole pandemic really threw everything off. But this CRNA, said that she would take pictures for me and I was just like so excited. So what you're seeing here is me and him whenever they laid him on my chest for the very first time and um, you know literally love at first sight. He reminded me so much of my first son and um, whenever they actually took him out I heard him cry because you know you're always listening for that first cry he's going to be okay and they took him and his APGAR scores were really good and they weighed him and he was eight pounds which um, I was really shocked I really thought he'd be in the high sevens but he was in the eight and then they worked really fast just getting him on my chest because there was one thing about the c-section that I was a little bit worried about was that golden hour where you get to do skin to skin and they just did an excellent job with that and they put him straight on my chest and it was just really a magical moment. And he was definitely ready because look how he's peeling a little bit. Oh yeah. He's ready. Are you hungry? <laughs> he's, hey. He's wanting to eat. What do you think about your brother? So he looks cute. just like you. I can't believe we have a brother. <laughs> Like, where's the 
So it was so much easier. Babe, it was like a easy, like the easiest thing I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's awesome. <laughs> So after Ben and Zach got to meet Josiah, we um, of course just stayed in the rooms and my nurse, who was awesome by the way, she um, monitored me the whole time and I just got to bond with Josiah and breastfeed and like I was saying earlier, the golden hour was literally golden for me because with my first pregnancy, my son had latching issues and we really had to work hard on the hat, but he immediately just latched and started breastfeeding. Yeah. And, and that, that's just what he was doing the whole time. Yeah. And I'm not trying to brag or anything, <laughs> but he gets that for me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't make me laugh. Yeah. But anyway, so, um, we did that and just cuddled. But one thing that I didn't think would happen to me that does happen to some people during a C-section after their C-section is that they get really nauseous and even throw up. And I normally don't have problems with that. Do I like, it has to be pretty bad for me to throw up. But anyways, every time I would lift my head off the pillow, I would feel like I was going to be sick. And I had started drinking some like clears because I didn't want to eat any food. Because they told me, you know, do what you think you can do, but don't start out with something heavy. So every time my head would come off that pillow, I would get sick. And I actually was like throwing up, threw up like three times. They gave me Zofran, everything, but it really just had to wear off. But that next day, whenever I got up, I felt so much better. Remember you asked me, you're like, are you nauseous anymore? I was like, no, feed me breakfast. I am ready to eat. Because I didn't eat anything that day because you know, you can't eat past midnight. And so just throughout the day, I just had like clear liquids and stuff. So then with day two, you know, the nausea is gone, but what's starting to creep around now is the pain because that spinal has really completely wore off the medication that they have given you. And so you start feeling what occurred down there. And, um, Again, though, my nurses were just so amazing in helping me manage my pain and keeping that under control. So that was never really a huge issue for me. Um, they were just really good about helping me get up out of bed. And during that day, I would say that midnight of that day, so it would be the next day throughout, that's when all my tubings came out, like my IV. I was so excited to get rid of that. And the Foley, oh, and the Foley catheter. And um, so I started feeling more human and I was able to shower. Yeah. Oh wow, when you take a shower after having a baby, it's the most amazing thing in the world. So I took a shower and just started feeling good. And what we did pretty much all that day was just spend time together as a family and love on little Josiah and just get used to you know, having a newborn again. Then on day three, that was the big day because that was our discharge day. And that was when we got to go home and um, bring him home for the first time, which is always really super special. So today, as we're filming this video, I am postpartum day five and everything seems to be going very well. You know, um, he's nursing at night, but it's not like intense where I'm losing sleep because I'm napping throughout the day. Plus I have like this awesome caretaker who's taking care of me. And I never knew he had such good cooking skills. Yeah. I watched that show Chop, so now I'm a master chef. <laughs> like he's, it's just amazing what he is cooking and just doing everything for me and from helping me to the bed and the shower. He's even putting on my compression socks. I mean, just awesome. I just love you. Love you. But we are just so happy to be home and looking back on this experience, we have been just very blessed and I feel like every single prayer I've had has been answered, but even more. I feel like, you know, because I've had a vaginal delivery and a, now a C-section, I was just truthfully, I was just scared half to death about this C-section. And you know, you can vouch for it, like yeah, praying all the time. I could not sleep the night before. Um, it was just, I was just really, really scared, but it just turned out amazingly. And um, the doctors, the nurses, everyone who cared for me, it, it was just like, it was just all planned out and just amazing. The people were just so awesome. We were just so impressed. And what's really, really, really funny is that some of the nurses who took care of me 
have actually watched my videos and it helped them get through nursing school. So yeah. I thought that that was really hilarious yeah. and really funny and just awesome. And then I got to meet some of these people. So I just can't really brag on the people I encountered enough. And they're just what they do is just so awesome. And they're just really special because, you know, to be a nurse myself and then to be on the flip side where I'm the patient, where I'm scared, and I don't know how everything's going to play out. And just to see these people, what they do is just really, really cool. So now it is time for you guys to meet baby Josiah. Okay, everyone, this is baby Josiah and he just got some milk. So he's a little bit drunk on his milk right now and he's sleeping and oh, I just love him so much. He is just such a sweet little boy. And again, he looks just like his brother, I think, whenever Zach was little. So it's gonna be interesting to see what he, grows up to look like and here's his little baby hands and it's pretty amazing how small they are and his little nose and his lips oh did you see that <laughs> it's cute but here he is he he's our everything and it's so awesome we're now a family of four so i'm gonna move his arm out a little bit so you can see his face a little bit better there he is you gonna wake up and say hello to the people on youtube there's been so many people who have prayed for you and who have followed along with us. Say, Mama, I'm sleepy. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for following along on this pregnancy journey with us. And I have received so many awesome messages from you all. Um, you such kind words, your prayers. I know all of you have been praying for me about, you know, hoping he would turn and the C-section and really everything worked out perfectly. And I really, really appreciate it, all your support. And I'm glad that you got to follow along with me on this incredible, incredible journey of bringing our little boy into this world. So thank you so much for that. And thank you for watching. Yeah, thank you.